In this video, I'm gonna show you how to get Kali or Kali Linux, if you prefer, up and running within VMware Fusion, which is now free software available from VMware on a Mac. We're going to download a pre-built virtual machine from Kali.org. We're going to import that into VMware Fusion and get Kali up and running on our Mac. Fantastic news is that VMware have recently made VMware Fusion free for non-commercial use. So from version 12 of VMware Fusion, you can run virtual machines on your Mac for free using a VMware product. This is a fantastic option once again if you wanna learn new technologies and learn to be an ethical hacker. So I'll show you once again how to install Kali Linux within VMware Fusion on a Mac. Let's get started. Okay, first thing, version of Mac that we're using is Mac OS Catalina version 10.15.6. The process will be very similar if you're using an older version of Mac OS or a newer version. Okay, first thing we need to do is go to Kali.org and I'm gonna go to Downloads, Download Kali or Kali Linux if you prefer calling it that from the Kali website. I'm gonna scroll down and download a pre-built Kali 64-bit VMware version. This is available on the Offensive Security VM download page. So going to that page, I'm gonna select Kali Linux VMware 64-bit. This is version 2020.3. We can see that a 7z or 7z file has been downloaded. According to this, it's gonna take 24 minutes or so. While I'm waiting for that, I'm gonna to go to the vmware.com website. We need two things here. We need a hypervisor. In this example, I'm gonna use VMware Fusion, which is free once again. And the second thing we need is the OVA, so the pre-built OVA from Kali, which we can simply import into VMware. So on the VMware website, I'm gonna to go to products. Scroll down on the left-hand side and select desktop hypervisor. We want Fusion for Mac. And notice now, since version 12, we can get a personal use license. So that's the version that we're going to download. You have to register, however, to get the software. So if you don't have an account, create one, fill in your details, and then you'll be able to download the software. I have an account already, so I'm gonna put in my email address, put in my password, and click login. So I'm told that I can download VMware Fusion 12.0 for Intel-based Macs. I can see that I've got a license for VMware Fusion Player personal use. This is version 12.00. I'm gonna click manually download to download the software. Now I've had issues clicking on this download link. If you have the same issue, look at the email that you get when you register. So when you register your account, they'll email you a download link which you can use to download the software. So on the email that I've received, I'm gonna click on this download now link to download my copy of VMware Fusion Player. Software is now being downloaded. It's about 641 meg in size. So again, we're downloading two things. We're downloading VMware Fusion Player, free hypervisor software that allows us to virtualize Linux on a Mac, and we're downloading an OVA from Kali.org. My Kali Linux OVA is downloaded, so I'll show that in folder. You can see it's a 7z file or 7z file. I'll right click on that and click open. So that file is now being expanded. Okay, we can see that the 7z file has been extracted. We've now got a Kali Linux 2020.3 a VMware AMD 64-bit VMware VM file that's about 9.35 gig in size. So a large file that's been extracted from the 2.27 gig 7Z file. We've also got our VMware Fusion DMG file. So now we need to do two things again. We need to install VMware Fusion and then import the VMware VM file into VMware Fusion. So I'm gonna right click on the DMG file and click open to start the VMware installation. And now I can double click to install VMware Fusion on my Mac. The file's been verified 
and we warned that VMware Fusion is an app that's been downloaded from the internet. Are you sure you wanna open it? Answer is yes, I wanna open it. We told that VMware Fusion requires administrative privileges to perform a one-time setup. So I'm gonna put in my password so that the software can be installed. So the software is being initialized. I'm prompted with a license agreement, but I'm also prompted with a system extension blocked. I've been told that a program tried to load new extensions. Do I wanna allow that? And I'm gonna say open security preferences to allow it. So I'm gonna to have to put in my password once again. And then I'm told that system software from VMware was blocked from loading. I'm gonna allow that software. Okay, so on my VMware Fusion installation, I need to agree to the license agreement. I need to put in my license. That license is available on the VMware website. So log back into VMware, and then you'll be able to copy your license and paste it in. So I'll paste my license in and click continue. Got to put in my password once again. And I'm told, thank you for using VMware Fusion Player. I'm gonna click done, and I'm gonna click OK to allow VMware Fusion to access control system events and open system preferences to allow VMware Fusion to control my computer. So I'll check this little checkbox. So in this version of Mac OS, there are so many security features, you have to allow a whole bunch of things before you can actually start using VMware Fusion. To open my Kali Linux virtual machine, I'm gonna to go to File, Open, and go to where my VMware VM file is stored. Now you may wanna move this somewhere else rather than just have it in the downloads directory like I've got it here. You probably wanna put it somewhere else. I'm gonna click Open. And then what I'm gonna do is have a look at my settings. So I'm gonna make sure that the processes are valid. I'm gonna set this down to two. I'm gonna leave the RAM at two gig. So that's fine for this virtual machine. I'm gonna enable hypervisor applications in this virtual machine. So basically enable VTX. Go to network adapter, make sure that I'm sharing this with my Mac. Hard disk, that looks fine. It's using this VMDK file, so that looks fine. Basically, you need to make sure that your settings are correct for your Mac. I'm gonna close that and start it up. In this example, we're getting a broken pipe issue, failed to initialize monitor device. Now, once you've installed VMware Fusion, I suggest you shut it down and then start it up again. So when I start it up again, I'm told that VMware Fusion would like to access files in my downloads directory. I'm gonna click OK to allow that. So I'm gonna click Run to start VMware Fusion. I'm told this virtual machine might have been moved or copied. So because I copied it, I'm gonna click I copied it. And as you can see, Kali Linux is now booting on my Mac, running within VMware Fusion. I'm told that VMware Fusion would like to access my microphone. I'm gonna click OK to allow that. And as you can see now, I can log in with the default username of Kali, password of Kali and I've been able to log in to Kali Linux running within VMware Fusion on a Mac. And I can, as an example, ping google.com from this virtual machine running within VMware Fusion. I could shut Kali down and then quit VMware Fusion. So the process once again is to have VMware Fusion running on my Mac. I can start VMware Fusion and then I can start up my Kali virtual machine running within VMware Fusion. And there you go, it's now booting up within VMware Fusion on my Mac. And I can log in again with my username and password. I can resize this as needed. I can maximize it as an example. Once again, I've got a fully working Kali Linux virtual machine running on my Mac. In this example, VMware Fusion Player, which is free software available from VMware.com. I'm David Bumble, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like this video, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel, and please click on the bell to get notifications. I wanna wish you all the very best.